Welcome. This is Mike Fairchild, Editor-in-Chief of HRLab.com, and today we turn our attention to Ceridian. We briefly touched on this solution in our discussion of the top 10 HRMS solutions, but we'll be delving a bit deeper today to discuss some of the finer details of this system. Uh, and for this discussion, I'm joined by my colleague, Chuck Schaefer, CEO of Vantive Media. It's good to have you with us, Chuck. Thanks for coming on board for our Ceridian discussion. My pleasure, Micah. Ceridian is one of those solutions that it seems like lately there's no shortage of things to talk about, so I'm excited to get past the cursory review and discuss their HCM software in more depth. And here I thought I was the only one. <laughs> uh, so look, I'd like to start off by referencing a uh, discussion that you just had with Larry Donovan, uh, who's the Senior Vice President of Products and Technology for Ceridian uh, at the just-held HR Technology Conference. Uh, and it seems like after seeing your conversation with him, uh, it seems like mobile HCM is clearly a focus uh, for Ceridian, while social isn't as universally accepted yet. Uh, so from a direction perspective, where does it look like Ceridian's headed? You know, that's what I took away from my conversation with Larry as well. I think it's important to recognize that I only talked to one of Ceridian's key players in that discussion, but his responses to my questions certainly led me to believe that mobile HR applications have been well established within Ceridian for several years. While the jury is still out about how social media will influence Ceridian HCM software, granted Larry did indicate that social will likely become a bigger strategy moving forward. But to not focus on that now, in my humble opinion, is a fairly significant issue. Within an HCM software context, Social clearly offers benefits such as employee engagement, group collaboration, informal knowledge sharing, and application software user adoption. But don't you think at least that the assessment that Social HCM hasn't reached mainstream uh, is fairly accurate? To an extent, sure. But there are many innovators and early adopters looking to harness these tools while they can still be used to achieve competitive advantage, as opposed to waiting until everybody is using them and the competitive advantage is lost. Application software publishers that aren't on the leading edge of development with these disruptive technologies can find themselves behind once the market catches up. Just look at how everyone is trying to catch up to Workday right now. Now, I don't mean to imply that the Ceridian solution is lacking in major ways. Take, for example, their user interface. It's intuitive, simple, and at least from a user adoption standpoint, allows for a reduced learning curve and quicker uptake by customers, which ultimately results in a faster deployment cycle, faster time to value, and a higher return on software investment. That's a good point. Uh, and of course, one of the things that I think is most impressive about Ceridian solution is how best to breed their payroll functionalities are. Uh, and how many people use them. Uh, I think they're number two in the world behind only ADP, uh, which is pretty impressive. Uh, and for organizations that are already leveraging Ceridian for payroll, uh, or those with a higher concentration of complex U.S., Canadian, or um, U.K. payroll needs, deploying Ceridian as a system of record via their HRMS, it, it just makes sense. Yeah, I agree that can be the case. Um... And one of the benefits I'm seeing from Ceridian customers is the ability for users or administrators to make some simple presentation layer changes or implement role-based preferences to the user interface without changing underlying source code. Uh, effectively using simple layers of abstraction to keep the application logic and data logic intact. This is the direction that we're going to see more and more companies heading in their near future, permitting simple software tailoring and customization for automating unique, user-specific, role-specific, and possibly company-specific or industry-specific business processes directly into the application software, and thereby increasing automation and reducing both manual workarounds and cycle times. I think you're spot on with that assessment. Uh, after all, you know, HCM solutions that allow users to independently design the system the way that they want by changing fields, forms, simple application logic. They've got a leg up on giving end users that customization they need uh, without causing an over-reliance on IT staff uh, or implications which later impact software maintenance, software upgrades, uh, and even vendor support. Yes, yeah, Ceridian has quite a bit going for them, but what I find a bit puzzling is how geographically limited they are for a global company. 
Am I correct in thinking that they only support English and French language sets? You know, to my knowledge, yes. Uh, I, I think that the language support, though, is simply a byproduct of their recent struggles uh, with both brand management and identity over the past several years. You know, for one thing, they had that fairly public security breach back in 2009, uh, which they've since fixed. Uh, they wound up questioning their ability to, to handle data security in the cloud. Uh, then there were the efforts to start up a SaaS solution called InView, uh, and that turned into Dayforce. Uh, paired with the ever-present outsourcing operations that the company is particularly adept at. Uh, they've got a lot of fingers and a lot of pies without, at least in my opinion, uh, a clear direction moving forward. Well, I would agree with you until the point where you indicate that their solutions are still lacking direction. I put Ceridian in the same vein as Oracle before they found cloud religion, moving forward but without a firm map. Now, with the Dayforce cloud solution making headway, I think that the Ceridian has an initial software as a service path laid out for the foreseeable future. Not only that, but it's built on a foundation that stems from workforce management, which of course includes time and attendance, scheduling, and Dayforce's workforce optimization. And that's something that the market isn't overpopulated with right now. Fair enough. Uh, and of course, good on you for bringing up Dayforce. Uh, even though Ceridian's Latitude offering is what puts it in the top 10 HRMS solutions, uh, Dayforce has some tremendous potential since the SaaS market for HRMS is still relatively wide open. Uh, it appears like when nobody was looking, uh, Ceridian started quietly building from scratch this full cloud HRMS offering with self-service, payroll, analytics functionality. Uh, it's even apparently scalable up to, I think, 36,000 plus employees. Uh, it might have taken them some bumps in the road to get there, but uh, all in all, Dayforce is a huge plus for customers who haven't seen this kind of solution from Ceridian today. Uh, Chuck, we're just about out of time, so are there any other things you've learned about or seen from the Ceridian camp you think our audience should know about? Yeah, a few things. First of all, simple software preference changes are within the constructs of the Ceridian HCM software. Ceridian's lack of a discernible, visual, platform as a service type customization toolkit suggests that deeper system modifications aren't going to be easily accommodated. That means customers are either going to have to revert to source code modifications, external application software with system integration, or just live without needed but missing feature sets. Second, the latest acquisition turned offering Dayforce by Ceridian still has some technical debt that hasn't been fully rationalized. And anytime you see this situation, like we did with Oracle and Taleo, SAP and SuccessFactors, and IBM and Conexa, you can be sure that there will be changes to the solution, but not sure what those changes will be. And finally, the security issues for Ceridian appear to be a thing of the path, past, so I wouldn't let this prior mistake exclude an otherwise solid vendor from your HCM software shortlist. Information security preparedness and response is now impressive at Ceridian and the cloud industry in general. And given the stringent security guidelines, certifications, and other measures that are evolving within the HR software industry, I think you'd be hard pressed to find an HR software vendor that isn't serious about keeping your data safe and backing up that intent with the resources, processes, tools, reviews, and certifications that few internal IT shops can match. Uh, well, well, thanks for that perspective. Uh, excellent points as always. Uh, and I think that that last point actually is an excellent place for us to end our Ceridian discussion. So thanks for joining us and make sure you look, up, look us up next time as we continue our reviews of the top solutions and our deeper examination of the intersection of HR strategies, processes, and technology.